Good morning. This is Linda K. And there goes my kitty, Buttercup. Um, today is Wednesday, November the 18th, 2020. And it is 9.47 a.m. in the morning. The weather is cold and the sun is does come out every so often and today is kind of cloudy so I don't know if it's supposed to rain or what but that's the weather for today and I know it's been a while it's been since September the 11th and I'm sorry about that but things have been happening in my life and I just needed to take care of some stuff and deal and deal with some stuff and so my life has finally so settled, settled down I hope um my as far as COVID is concerned my state has been um it's been mandatory to wear a mask our numbers have gone sky high. There have been more COVID cases, including in, in my own small town. So, and there have been more deaths in my county. So our numbers in my county and in my state is very high. And my town has been having COVID cases. So I have been staying in, I, the only place I go is to Dollar General if I have to, and to McDonald's, and I wear my mask. So I've just been staying home, basically, and doing my own thing. And I got my phone on silent, so it does not go off 50,000 times. Uh, this is plot two number... 24. I've got to mention that. So it's blast tube number 24. 24. There used to be a TV show called 24, and I love that show. It's, it was a, a police show, and I, I loved it. I watched it every time it came on. And my nose is itching, probably because Bug Cup is running through here. Um, whoops, you can see his, there he goes. Um, <coughs> and I don't have COVID, it's my allergies are going crazy right now because I'm allergic to everything that is flying through the air, all the leaves, all the dust from the leaves, all that. So, and usually by noon, I'm not coughing. It's just my morning cough. Um, I have a couple whips to show you. I have some haul. And I have a shout out. So, I'm going to get started. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, uh, Okay, my first whip is a heaven and earth design, and I'm going to take it out of the hoop so you can see the whole thing. I put it back in my... And here is what it's going to look like when I'm finished with it. Heaven getting a glare from the sun from the window. There we go. It's heaven and earth design and a true is library fairy five char <coughs> the artist is Randall Bangler and a char by Heaven and Earth Design Michelle. So I am working on the upper 
half of this. And here is the hoop mark. Oh my, just about left my needle. Here's what I got done on it. So, once I get this section done, which is not very much, <coughs> and it's all it's all red. Um, uh, pages one through three will be done. So this is the top section, and and once I get this done. Then the top section will be completely done. <coughs> and then I'm going to start on page four, which will be underneath this right, this section right here. So it will, it will go down here. So. So I'm getting closer to getting the top half completely finished, and then I can start on to put. Then I can start on page four. Let's go. Let's we'll go underneath the purple book. And there's nine pages to this pattern, so I should got four, five, and six, and then seven, eight, nine. And and I, and the rest of the, you know, the rest of the dishes, it's not hard to do. They'll be easy, and there's not it, there's not a whole lot of confetti on the rest of the pages, which is <laughs> I'm real happy about. So and oh, and the fabric I almost forgot the the fabric. Bob Cutler playing in his little box. That's a no you hear. The fabric is 28 count white gold blend. And I'm doing this one over one. And I'm making this for my public local library. So this is my concentration as far as having an earth design charge. I only got three of them started. But I'm concentrating on this one. So that is my Hague project that I'm concentrating on. Okay. Whip number two. Well, maybe. I'm trying to find a picture of it. Here it is. It's called Witches of Salem by the Primitive Hair. And that's what it's going to look like. Minus the, the leaves. There's no leaves. It's just the the houses. And uh, and this up here. And then all the names. And then the lady. And then the, the year. So that's what I'm gonna look like when it's finished. And I am doing this on hang on a minute because I won't remember what it's called. I never do. I'm doing this on twenty-eight count vintage country mocha cashel linen. 
and I'm using all of the call for threads except for is one that is not available at all. You can't get it nowhere. I mean, that's impossible. Uh, <coughs> no one that cannot get it, and nobody has it because they can't get it. And the gas thread and it's called carried black. So I'm using DMT 310 because I looked up the, the, uh, the a conversion for it and um carry black you can use if you don't have it you can use DMT three ten which is black. So that's the only one that I'm not using that that, that I can't get. And so let me take it out of the hoop. So here is where I'm at. And like I said, I'm using the cloth four threads except for the carry black. And I'm using black with DMT black, uh, DMT 310 which is black for in place of the carry black. And this material Oh, I'm so in love with it. Oh, it is so soft, so easy to stitch on. I love it. And and if I could get by with it, I would I would stitch all my projects on this fabric because it is just fabulous to work with. And I got the fabric from one, two, three stitch. And you can see it has some other color shading in it. It it is so lovely to, to work with. I love it. I love my twenty eight count and I love my twenty five count. So those are the only two whips that I am working on. And I work on my heaven and earth design in the mornings and then the rest of the day, the afternoon, evening time, I work on my Witches of Salem project. And I'm drinking on my Pepsi glass. I got the long time ago and, and at, at one time I did have four of these, but now I'm down to two. So, it's one of my favorite glasses to drink out of. Just the right size, perfect. Okay, I've got some haul. Okay, this fabric, the size of this is 12 by 12. And a 32 count white Lugana. And I got this from my LNS, which is House of Thistles in LaPorte, Indiana. And I have not decided what I'm going make to make with this yet. But I want to get a piece of 32 count white because I want to see if I can see that this on 32 count using my brand new floor lamp that I got not too long ago. So this is 32 count white Lugana fabric. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick out a pattern that will fit on this and start stitching on it. I haven't decided what pattern to do to, to stitch on this yet. I have to look and see what I have. 
Okay, also from my LNS, I got a pattern and it's called Haunted House Trio by Rectin Moon Designs. And it called for Wheat Dye Works. Or you can use DMC, that, but I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, use the weak dye work threads. So and uh, and also it uses DMC gloss, which is 644M beige gray. So. So I usually get one or two patterns a month from my LNS. And and with my LNS and since they're close by, well, a half hour from my house, um I can order my thing like like in the morning, like Let's say if I order something this morning, I will have it by tomorrow morning. That's how fast they are. So I got that. And then <laughs> I finished Silver Moon Tea by Maria Billy. I got all the stitching done. And I think I got all the back stitching done. But I'm doing the beading. Well... Throughout the last few months, I lost my one package of beads that supposed to be used in on that project. So I reordered it again, and here's my package of beads that I got. It's um. Uh, Green and gold looking beads and their glass seed beads. <coughs> so now I got my bead to finish my project with. And then I also, from my LNS, I got my flamingo scissors and their hot pink scissors. And here is my flamingo scissors. And my L LNS had had these house of scissors and the port and they are on, on the web, so you can look them up. And 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 they're heavy. So I got these scissors. So that is my haul for my LNS. And here comes my child again. I'm surprised he hasn't been on my lap yet. Um, he's rather interested in looking out the window. Okay, I have a shot out, and I just discovered this sister. It's a male sister, and he is on YouTube. And his YouTube name is Blitstit. B L I T S T I T G H. And he is really, really good. He is a super fantastic stitcher. So if you have not 
watch his videos, you need to go and check him out because he is a beautiful teacher and he did not do the easy simple pattern. Uh, hang on a minute. Say hi! It's my buttercup! My buttercup! And he's in a biting mood. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. She's in a biting mood. Look at that face. Just wants to sit on my lap. So, um, okay, get down. So he did not do the small, easy, simple patterns. He does the uh, big, difficult, challenging patterns. <coughs> and in his one video, I think it was his last video, he talked about a tweet that went for his patterns and he gave some uh, suggestions, ideas on kind of like the best way to handle the confetti that is in her pattern. And if you ever sit on a tweet that went for a pattern, you will know what I'm talking about. And the blending threads. Yes. Tons and tons and tons of blending threads. And, <coughs> and tons and tons and tons of confetti. So yeah, so I will try to link his channel down below in the description box. So the channel name is B L I T S T I T G H N one word on YouTube. And he is also on, on Instagram as well. So I will link his channel down below in the description box. Um I didn't bring it with me, but the book that I am reading is called Mess Often by Gil, G-I-L-L, Hornby, H-O-R-N-B-Y. And it is really good. And my audio book that I'm listening to is called Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And I'm listening to this on through Audible. And it's a Penguin Classic book that I'm listening to. And it is super fantastic. I'm on chapter 25, I think it is. So those are the two. One is my audio book and the other one I'm physically reading. So those are the two books I'm reading. And now my child is having a meowing bit. And he thinks I should open the window up. Um, I want to thank all of you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you to all of my new subscribers that have started to follow my channel. And I want to thank you all for um, for all of your comments, for taking time out to read my, to, to read, to watch my videos, and I'm going to try my best to have a video up once a week from now on. So, if nothing else happens in my life. So, with that in mind, I will say goodbye to you all, and I love you all so very much, and I will see you in my next video.
拜。